Well, it would appear that the tube that took so much abuse last night without seeming to falter has developed a microscopic leak on the bad end and no longer has vacuum. So, it has robbed me of the chance of spectacularly finishing it off tonight. However, I have this tube. This is an F20T12. It was over the kitchen sink for about a year. Nice high color rendering index. Everything's great. But it is defective. One end lost all its emission coating after just a year of use in a preheat fixture. And it no longer works. So I've decided to send it off in whatever way I can to do so. I have my DC kill rig. This time, I have added a couple plug sockets. And if I follow the cords over, I've added some resistive loads. You have the little spiral lamp with the 60 watt light bulb in. That is low. Then we have the space heater, which has two settings, high and extra high. Those will limit current input to the rectifier, and then the rectifier will function as a voltage doubler, feeding the tube far more voltage and current than it was ever designed to handle, hopefully resulting in meltdown. All right, attempt to pop F20T12 with high current DC. Variac is on. Dummy load is on, low power, ballasted with 60 watt incandescent lamp, voltage climbing, gonna crank it till the tube ignites, or if I have to, I will go and apply a spark. Bang! Not happy about that. Well, it seems that anticlimactic little pop earlier was all that I'm going to get out of this. This tube appears to have lost vacuum as well. Damn, these things are more fragile than I expected. These caps don't have too many joules of energy in them, so I wasn't expecting that to happen. But if there's any filament in there, I'm going to cook it up as well. Yep, strong a little bit of current. I think it's time to let this have a little bit more power. Ooh, it is not happy about that. Not happy at all. That is on... BAM! There it goes. He is dead now. T8 tube from last night, also without vacuum. Filament burn up. Using 400 watt resistive element as ballast. Pop! Is dead.